Hello and welcome to another FIFA World Club Trophy episode and tonight it's Greece match day one and here is the group of four. So here is the group of four then competing to find out which team will represent Greece in that final tournament and it's group 11 that they are fighting for a place for alongside the English, Chilean and Dynamo Kiev who were the winners of the Ukrainian duo actually uh, that probably started off uh, one of the first to start off the tournament so let's go to the first match of that match day one in this Greek group before it's Olympiakos against AEK Athens with me as your commentator hello and here we are this is the opening game of the Greek group before and as you can see there will be a, a partisan crowd here as Olympiakos kick off against AEK Athens and indeed it's the capital city Ooh, that's very close to the edge there and I think he got away with it See how they both settle down here. Swift play here is Henri. Oh dear, it's rather a nasty one, but he's got it back again. And the first shot of the game is well saved. And straight away, AEK. We're off down the right here. Simianska, that's well taken. Oh dear, and Garcia went straight into. And he's going to get a card there for that, Garcia. And it looks like Omri again, arguing that that was a little bit uncalled for on Cissé. Her leg. Cissé forward here to Madi Agabu nicely through there to El Arabi who's trying to burst his way through Michelin so well picked up by Mavila Lala now and uh, Making a little bit of a uh, cautious approach here. It's a nice turn. Oh, then he lost it to Simianski. Oh, uh, nearly a late one. There's Mantelos. That's a nice ball. He gets it back. Decides to take it on himself there. Oh, it's. Uh, it very nearly caught the keeper out there, but uh, no problem in the end. Oh, he's picked it off there, Garcia. And it's had to go back there to Michelin. Um, and to last, oh, the keeper had to make a, a quick adjustment there. And Lala in the way as well. That's a swift counter by Olympiakos now with El Arabi. Decent ball in. The keeper makes a bit of a leap for it, but it didn't make much contact. Well, oh, breaking loose in this one at the moment. It's Omri again. Takes it on well. I'm assuming you, you pronounce it like the French rather than Emery <laughs> some noise away and he's seen a little bit too far there and again calming the situation down here 
Trying to work the way forward again. V there. Ooh, a little bit too much there. Simoy's straight in there. Arojo. Oh, and that's uh, Garcia again getting in there. That's a good tackle though by Sukrakis, I think it was. And Arabi might be able to feed him through there. He took it well there. Straight through, and the keeper makes a save. Just about. We saw us with the corner, it's headed away. Ooh, this took a go at that, but it was well defended. It's going to get cut out there. Nicely evaded there by Maddy. Omri. That's it back. Hmm. Bit of a hurried cross, I would say, there. Oh, that uh, got way through by um, him getting out of the way of the shot there, wasn't it? Um, oh, that's a. Is it a late one, though? The referee's not even thinking about the free kick there. Arayo. Oh, <laughs> somehow he found its way back to the keeper and it's been headed out in the end. Where's that going? A little bit too close to the Athens man in the end there. Oh, and he's managed to turn and he's fired it over the top. They've uh, been evenly matched so far. Well, that is half time. That's very quick. And to be fair, there wasn't a lot of complete action there, was there? To be fair. And uh, although there was nine shots, it says. <laughs> to be fair, it didn't seem like that. Uh, so Olympiakos go again in the second half. important thing to note of course the first game they neither side will be looking to lose it they'll be wanting something from the game and Arabi yeah, that's a good save Garcia the only man that got a card interesting ball through he skips one, but he, oh, he, he did get through again. Oh, it's a poor shot in the end, and Vatchnik equal to it, although it was a poor effort. And the header's wide from Mitoglu. I don't think it's Mitoglu, is it? The, um... The well-known Greek forward, of course, um, and very pronounced. If you know what I mean, uh, he's always a larger-than-life character on the Greek stage. Here's Maddy. Oh, it's a decent cross, and the keeper. Decides to punch it away, and now the wave is going round the stadium. Is it? Are they that ball? <laughs> Ooh, he tried to get in with the head there. Strong play to try and keep it alive there for Olympiakos, but look at Garcia pumping down the right, but he's took it too far in the end. 
Nevea. Emre or Omri, whichever way you want to pronounce it, is Maddy. Methodical attack here. Ooh, and then uh, he got stopped in his tracks. Mantelos. It's well away again. Oh, that's a high boot going in on Mantelos. Garcia. Oh, does he manage to get round there? Oh, well, he gives it the keeper. Nicely found there from the keeper to Omri. Good strong ball forward. It's Arabi on again. Oh, oh, he's still managed to. Oh, he got completely. Now I think it is Mid another Mitrong who is in defence. Joe, or whatever we want to call him, and Oleg puts it out for a throw. And we have the first change, it's Amravat coming on, who is very well known throughout Europe. He's played for the Italy side as well, hasn't he? He's um, been in Italy for one or two seasons. So very well found ball through to Omri. Puts it in the middle. Oh, and the keeper saves it. Right out in front, his positioning he was correct. No, oh, giving away badly. Garcia. And that's. Um, Going to fall for Oleg. Ooh, he just manages to find Mardi. Lala. There's Mavia. Mardi again. It's all very tight in the midfield there, trying to find a hole to play it through. Oh, he's got round there. Ah, it's a good save on the shots. El Arabi. And I think it's another change coming up. It's Ansafarand for Araujo. Oh, and Henri got him. Oh, he got it took it off him just at the, the right time as far as Athens were concerned. But that wasn't a very good ball in, was it? Cissé, there's Lala, again working the way through, oh and another cracking save, it's all go, it's getting interesting now for Olympiacos, it's a long deep one, Cissé, oh and it might have been a foul on the keeper there but play on. Ooh, the Oleg hits it into the ground there. Mardi, oh, well, um, stops. Here's Oleg. It's uh, Ryabiuk, actually, isn't it? Um, ooh, did well to avoid. And it's a great save again. And now there's a suggestion here. And Ryabiuk is looking a bit tired. But there is another change here. The Talek is coming on. We know all these names from previous seasons of European football. And Omri Zeda. Now that's more of a possibility there. Bar can come on here for Ribab. Ryabjuk Ryabchuk Siminski was replaced by Latanek I'm sure, didn't he play for Liverpool at one point? That's an interesting ball the keeper dives out to the to the play there 
and set Slala off. Although he looks a little uh, jaded, it must be said. We're coming up to the end of the game anyway. It looks like it's going to be a 0 0 first match here. Unless something drastic happens. It's El Arabi that's easily blocked. Last chance maybe for Athens. And that's gone as well. And Barr is the last man to touch it for Olympiakos. And it will be a nil-nil draw here. So, a di uh, well, I won't say a disappointing start to the foursome, but certainly one that wasn't really expected. So here we are, it's uh, match day one, it's the second match of that match day one of the Greek group of four then. It's Panathinaikos, one of the oldest European heroic sort of teams, isn't it? And uh, they are playing Pauk of Salonika. And it's the Panathinaikos who kick off. Palacios. And it skips around that one quite easily. What's the cross like? It's not bad. There's the. Ooh, and the. Couldn't quite get enough on it there. Come on, that's. Um, oh, my word. And it will be a free kick <laughs> to Pauk. Schwab with it. Odded on, odded on, edded on. And it's hoofed out of the box there. Picked off by Carlitos. Carlitos. He's looking for a run from someone. There was one down the right there, but it was a bit too quick. That's better. Now, and across it, oh, he, he skips over it. There was a man in the six yard box and he jumped over it. Did well to, oh no, the shot's a little weak. Mm, not quite getting there. Sorry. Not quite getting his name then. <laughs> Schwab again. Zikovic was in there, played it rather quickly here, and that's a good block. Again, looking for options. That's an interesting one, but it's too late a ball, and he's offside. We obviously saw him going for it down the left. Let's get zipped for a bit. This looks promising. Keeping them at bay though. Oh, we have cut that out nicely. It's one a bit tight there. through two there Perez Ruben Perez I'm not sure it, I think it's the, the uh, Ruben Perez that we know and love at Manchester City oh that's a decent strike from Kalitos and it's produced the corner here good header oh or was it I think Varela may have got a touch on it. No, he didn't get a touch on it. Hmm. Not quite close enough to get it off them in that uh, final third. And here come Pout now, bursting down the right. And he's come inside, and it's a really good save in the end. He took it really well, cocked it inside to take the shot on. That's a good header from Palacios. 
and he's chasing after it and oh no he didn't quite work with the first time effort forward there Sitkovic oh he got round oh he, he got defended well in the end big ball out but it's only heading into Schwab as um, they come again here Pauk that looks too long a ball and it is well it's uh, another partisan crowd here to see this one and you will expect that in all the matches here in this Greek group of four sure that did well here's Ruben Perez again This is Ruben Diaz in Man City. You might see him through here. Oh, and he sort of took it inside into the, the black. Oh, he's given it away here. Oh, a massive mistake. And Kalitas scores the opening goal of the tournament. It says Carlos Lopez on his shirt. But it was a gift an absolute gift for him and it's really well struck so there we go 1-0 to Panathinaikos who are down as the weakest of the four teams in this group Again, good defending. Palacios. Ruben Perez. Kalitos. Took it too far. Varela in the way. Zitkovic. Ooh, nearly there, but not quite. Quick turn of events here to bring the ball forward. <laughs> not being forced into a challenge here oh and uh, oh good defending all round that oh well, they got took off him again and it's a good save in the end Zitkovic with the corner it's really well met by the defenders and that's well blocked is he on his own though He's <laughs> surrounded by four players almost immediately there. Oh dear, where's that going? So a great ball into the box. Oh, and uh, oh! No, is that a penalty? I think it is. He's handballed it, apparently. So, well, we would have liked to have seen that again. Well, it's going to be, it. well, say an easy save. He made it a bit of a meal of it, but it did get hit straight at him and it remains 1-0 so I let off there for Panathinaikos it's a clever little ball to Palacios Oh no, it's uh, not a very clever cross, so. And in fact, that is half time. Well, rip roaring first half in this one. And everybody is happy at this Olympic Stadium. Not sure whether I don't think it's the Greek Olympic Stadium, of course. Oh, he's got round him. He can't get at him. And it's a good header, but it's over the top. In fact, hang on a minute. It's another penalty. Well, we've got to have a look at this one. This is a ridiculous decision, isn't it? I can't see anything wrong with that at all and they've got another penalty 
Oh, and he scored this one. <laughs> he scored that one over the top of the top corner there. So it might be destined to be a win for Panathinaikos at this rate. Because that header was a little weak as well. Here come Pauk again with Zitkovic. That's been blocked by Ayo. It's another one now. This is ridiculous. A third penalty. Venez now. What's he done there? Well, I'm not sure about that. Again, it's another penalty then for Pauk. And he scored that one as well. Zitkovic, three out of three. Well, this is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. They'll keep winning the ball back here. They're determined to get something from the game here. That's gone over there. Oh, there's a chance. Ah, oh, it's saved. Ruben Perez. Gets it out of a tight corner. This is one car. Which is a well, provided that's how you say it. Alexandropoulos. And again, oh no, he's a little bit sloppy with that one. Here come Pauk again. Zikovic. Ooh, that was a, a dicey sort of challenge there. That's found Carlitos. Uh, Matthias can't get through that. Shvinsky. And that's uh, easily taken by Juan Car. <laughs> I don't really want to say it. <laughs> that, that, that's what it looks like. Anyway. Sort of a Spanish. What? Well, that's well taken by. I would imagine he's the, an Italian goalkeeper. But Pauka determined to take this on. Ooh, really good block there. Oh, terrible ball forward. He's not really there. There goes the shot. And it's a really good save again by Brignoli. It's really becoming very tense there at the back for Panathinaikos. They're really under the cosh. That's a good tackle. I'm going to try and relieve the pressure at least. Oh, can he send him through here? Is this Pelicios? Oh, what a great goal that is to put two in now. It's 2 0 to Panathinaikos. That is an absolute soccer punch. After all the pressure from Pauk. And that may well clinch victory for Panathinaikos. Incredible stuff that. Probably not the wind out the sails of Pauk. Not to be underestimated though. Hmm. Boot forward there. Who oh, took it well? Kalitos. Here's Palicios. He's taking it on down the left. Did well there. Oh no, he weren't looking. They weren't looking. <laughs> he didn't look there, did he? Oh. Oh, and that's easily taken. 
Schwab, it's too long. Only got a, got a goal kick out of it. as if they'll play this out now Matthias and and Andrew <laughs> oh no he's lost it by the time I say his name it's gone on a bit <laughs> that's great defending at the well I'm saying at the back obviously it was a bit at the back been so calm a performance by Panathinaikos, like so full of control it seems chance to run it really down this right and he's took the opportunity there it's not about ball in it's headed out a good ball for Zivkovic to take it on and he's took it inside he's been forced away oh and is that a penalty that might be a penalty and it's it is isn't it and it's him again it's uh, I think it's Velez isn't it uh, it's a poor one that this time that's an obvious one and El Kadori is coming on for Schwab and there's also a change as well. Where are they going? <laughs> for Sanchez coming on for Cositras or whatever his name is. <laughs> so Zikovic, this time he puts one in. And it must purely be a consolation here. But um, you never know what's the time to be added on. No, there's not a lot of time to be added on here. Just got to be careful, really. Oh my god! <laughs> got to be careful here. And in fact, it has blown, thankfully. For <laughs> that was supposed to be in a back into back into defence that pass, but it didn't quite work out that way, did it? So Panathinaikos then kick off their tournament with a great 2-1 win over Park and we shall now see what that group looks like at the end of that first match and there we have it with Athens and Olympiakos sharing the spoils it's Park against Olympiakos next and then Panathinaikos will play AEK and that will be a very interesting duo for match day two. So there we are, that's uh, the end of match day one in the Greek group of four and it's going to be a fascinating group as you can see from that first match. Join us again for match day two coming up soon. Until then, bye for now.